In 2022, the Tilden Middle School building on Old Georgetown Road in Rockville is slated to reopen as Woodward High School. Hans, tell us a little bit how this partnership was formed between yourself and Mrs. Leggett. The council president, Hans Reamer, and the county's first lady, Catherine Leggett, have sent a letter to the Board of Education requesting the school be named for abolitionist and author Reverend Josiah Henson. Henson's experiences as an enslaved man in Montgomery County inspired Harriet Beecher Stowe's landmark novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, one of the most influential books in history. Uh, the county, first of all, has an unsung hero in Josiah Henson, but the fact that he literally lived in this same area, you know, he walked the ground where Old Georgetown Road runs the same route today that it ran then. And he certainly was, you know, I'm sure walked all over that area in the course of doing his duties. Uh, so, um, you know, he lived there. Yeah. I'll try this. So this map was made two years after a portion of the property was recorded. And it's, it's really an incredible opportunity to bring recognition to his work uh, in the social movement of abolition and um, to elevate the county's own participation in that story. I mean, the county, um, you know, it's, this is our history, this is our community. Catherine Leggett is the campaign chair for the Josiah Henson Foundation and has worked closely on the creation of the Josiah Henson Park. She says naming a high school for Josiah Henson, who walked the very ground where the proposed school will be, sends a powerful message to our community about our unique history and the role of African American leaders in our county since its earliest days. Josiah Henson was... On August 10th, a new film about the life of Josiah Henson will be shown at the AFI in Silver Spring. The film corresponds with a new book about Henson's life by Jared Brock, who also produced the documentary. Um, there'll actually be a dialogue after the film with Jared Brock and Catherine Leggett, and a number of descendants of the Henson family who live, uh, well, many, some of them live in this area and others live in other parts of the country, will be there that evening. So it's going to be very interesting, and uh, we're going to have a good chance to you know, have dialogue about Mr. Henson, Reverend Henson, and of course, in the background will be this idea of memorializing him by naming a school. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.